gonna walk around Zion one of these mornings. I'm gonna walk around Zion one of these mornings. I'm gonna shout troubles over one of these mornings. In his bed, the writer rolled over and lay quite still. He had done some hard living and his heart fluttered. The idea got into his mind that he would sometime die unexpectedly. It made him more alive, there in bed, than at any other time. He had known people, many people, known them in a peculiarly intimate way that was different from the way in which you and I know people. They were all grotesque. All of the men and women the writer had ever known had become grotesque. Grotesques were not horrible. Some were amusing. Some downright beautiful. In the end, he wrote a collection of stories which he called the Book of the Grotesque. The writer never found the courage to seek a publisher, but I saw the book once and it made an indelible impression on my mind. And then the people come. And each one of them, as they appear, snatches up one of the truths. And some who are quite strong snatch up a dozen of them. When a man takes a truth and calls it his truth and tries to live his life by it, he becomes a grotesque. And the truth he embraces becomes a falsehood. Cause in my lowest times where I lived In Chicago Heights Plot does not matter. Character is everything. You don't have to leave Chicago Heights. You have to make Chicago Heights leave you. Living this way Cause a change has got to come. <laughs> That's not my mother in there. A change must come. A change must come. A change has got to come. A change must come. I'm going to get out of here. I don't know where I'm going to go or what I'm going to do, but I'm going away. A change must come.